हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कीप लर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक यूज एफटीपी सर्विसेज एफटीपी मींस फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल वी विल यूज सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर सॉफ्टवेयर टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिवाइड दिस टॉपिक into the two part part 1 upload a file to an ftp server part 2 download a file from an ftp server you will get all practical resources from the given description you will get a lab scenario file for the practice purpose you will get the entire lab manual you will get the lab manual with the answer let us understand the lab scenario here we can see in the diagram there is a one computer which is connected to the wireless router so that is like our home scenario in our home our computer mostly connected with the wireless router now that router is connected to the internet connected to the cloud internet then it is connected to the server this server is ftp server so now what i will do i will upload one file from my computer to the ftp server and then i will download another file from ftp server to my computer so by this two part we will understand the practical scenario of the file transfer protocol let us start the experiment through the description you will get three files these three file are cisco packet tracer file lab manual file and lab manual with the answer open the cisco packet tracer file double click on it cisco packet tracer software must be installed in your computer so here two window will be open this one is the instruction pt activity this one is the lab scenario file so now first of all go to the option then go to the user profile click on it write your name write your email id and also mention other details you can mention date time or any other specific detail click on okay now for the better practice you can split window in two section in one section we can put the lab scenario and in another section you can put the instruction so this scenario make you comfortable to practice the lab manual now we will follow the instruction first of all in part 1 i will upload one file from this computer to this ftp server in the second part i will download file from ftp server to this computer so now first of all let us perform the first part so first part i will upload one ftp file so i will go on a computer in this computer i will go to the desktop in desktop i will go to the command prompt in command prompt first of all i will check the directories what directories are available in this pc in this computer to check the directory i will use the command dir so by dir it will give the list of directory so right now one sample file is available in the directory so this file sample file dot txt is available in this computer now i will connect to the ftp server so to connect with ftp server the command is ftp and then ip address of that server here you can find the ip address from this table here in this addressing table you can find the device name interface ip address and subnet mask so i will enter the ip address of a server which is 209 dot 165 dot 200 dot 226 
so then I will give the enter so here I can see that they are trying to connect to the FTP server and it is asking for the username so username is given over here and password is also given so username is a student please check the spelling and then password you just type the password as a class while you write the password it will show nothing so don't worry about that you just type the password and then give enter so now you can see that I am in the FTP section I am connected to the FTP server so now I am connected with the FTP server so let us check which kind of command I can use so I will press the question mark and then I will give the enter so here I can use this command using this computer because I am remotely connected now I will check what are the file available in this server so again to check the file I will use the directory command which is dir so now after writing dir you can see there are so many files are already available so here you can see that dot bin file are available there is some dot tar file is also available and so total 32 files are available in this FTP server so now what I will do I will put my sample file dot txt into this server so to put the file from computer to server I will use the command put so what it will do it will put the file from computer to FTP server so I will use the put then sample please check your check the name it must be same so that is sample then capital F I L E dot T X T so that is the command put sample file dot T X T so here you can see the complete detail so they are writing the file sample file dot text to 209.165.200.226 by that means that is the server so transfer is complete and also time is mentioned that in this amount of time the file has been copied so we have completed the one task I have transfer I have uploaded file from my computer to FTP server now let us check that file is in the FTP directory or not so again I will check by writing the command dir so now let me check so you can see that now one file is added in the FTP server 33 number file which was in our computer so I have added the sample file dot txt from the computer to the server so that's it that was the first part so now let us go with the second part in the second part I am going to download the file from the FTP server so here what I will do first I will rename the file on the FTP server the sample file dot txt which is uploaded so I will rename it with the sample file underscore FTP then I will download this file from FTP server to my computer so I will do reverse process with the new renamed file so in the second part I will use the get command and I will put the file from server to my computer and last I will check the file in the computer and I will delete the file from the FTP server so let us do that so first of all I will use the rename command to rename the file so rename then original file name which was a sample file dot txt and then new file which is a sample file underscore ftp ftp dot txt that means this file is created in file server so now let me give the enter so here you can see that the rename has been successfully done you can again check by dir so dir total file is 33 now the new file is 
sample file underscore ftp so there is no sample file right now now i will download the file from the ftp server so now download the file i will use the get command get again file name so it is now sample file underscore ftp dot txt so i will use this command i will give enter so now the file has been transferred to the computer so now i will quit from this ftp so to quit the ftp you just write the command q u i t so now you are in the c drive of a computer previously you was in ftp server now you are in c drive of a computer so now let us check that that file has been downloaded or not so use the dir command now you can see that we are having that file right so we have downloaded file successfully which was created in the ftp server so now i will delete the file from the ftp server so let us again connect to the ftp server so i will connect with the ftp server so i will write the command ftp then again ip address 209.165.200.226 use the username student and password which is a class i am in the ftp server i will check which command i can use to delete the file so you can see by question mark in the ftp so here you can see that delete command can be directly used to delete any file so what i will do i will write the delete and then i will write the file name so the file name was sample file underscore ftp dot txt so uh, there is a invalid or non supported command so there is a mistake in the spelling let me correct it and then i will rewrite the command you must be take care of the name it is a cache sensitive so you cannot alter it so delete sample file ftp so now the file has been deleted successfully let us check by again writing the dir command you can check there is a file there is no file okay so now you can quit the ftp you can again check your computer it is available in your computer which is deleted from the server so that's it we have completed all the task so now i will close the pc and i will check for the result here you can check the result you can reset the activity so i will check so my uh, activity overall it is complete assessment test so i have scored uh, one by one so that means it is a full score uh, there is no such connectivity test so this is how i have completed this laboratory thank you i hope you like the video if you have any doubt or question then write down in the comment we will meet in next video bye bye